what up peeps welcome back to another wait what the hell <laughs> welcome back to another tutorial now today we are not going to be doing transition video today we are going to be doing something a little different now i don't know what do you call this effects but it's either camera shake or camera movements i have two clips over here so we're gonna be working with first thing what we're gonna do disable resample how do you do this click d twice on your keyboard one two or you can just go here and click it then you want to select all your clip right click it go to switches disable resample now you want to do this every time you edit your video that way you don't get those ghost effects which will ruin your video now once you're done click d twice on your keyboard again or you can just click here again this is what the video looks like without the video effects we're gonna be adding some camera movement so we're gonna go to video effects which is located right here if you don't see it click view and then window layout click on the default layout once you're done go to view again then window this time video effects should be right older once you're done with that we're gonna find as shake by the way you will need sapphire plugin for this right here click on it and then you should see the default one so we're gonna be using first one which is default we're gonna apply it to our first clip just drag it right here like this and then we're gonna take a look at the video well, you guys could see that that is crazy. You guys could see that there are black lines appearing in our video and we do not want that. How do you get rid of this? It's pretty simple. You want to go right here, event pen and cropped, click on it, go to your first frame, and then you want to select these two buttons right here. Boom, boom, these two. And then you want to zoom in just a little bit till the black lines are gone. So you guys could see, look, let me go back. You guys could see their black lines and you just want to zoom in just a little bit. All right, once you're done, we can uh, work on the camera shake. All right, that is way too much. So click on the effects, event effects. Once you click that, this should pop up. We are going to be working with two of these uh, settings right here, which are amplitude and frequency. Now let's work with the amplitude. I am going to change it to 0.2 just to see how it looks. Let's play the video. All right, this is a little bit better than uh, what we had before. Now we are going to change the frequency. I'm just going to change it to like one just to see how it looks. Now, as you guys can see, it is way better than what we had for the first time. This is way better. I like it. So I, I think I'm going to keep it like this. Let's change this to amplitude to uh, 300 just to see how it looks. I think it looks better. Actually, I'm just going to change it to 200. Once you're satisfied with the settings you have, you could save it. So I'm just going to save it right here. I'm just going to call it camera shake and then save it right here boom now we can work with our next clip which look like this we are going to change this boring boring i don't know i, I forgot a boring what video to to something cooler click on this and then s shake again so your preset will show up right here i named it camera shake i don't know whatever you named it should it should pop up right here and then you want to just drag it to your clip and then we are pretty much done but there's two things that i have to show you see this looks way better now all right so two things that i want to show you don't forget about the the black line click on the event pan and crop go to your first frame or just click it right here and then just zoom in you do want to make sure that you have these two buttons clicked let's play this video again all right there's very small thing that i want to show you let me just find the right frame okay so if you guys look really close into this this video you guys could see that there is a roof there is a reflection that is shown up and if you don't want that it is pretty simple to fix it so just click on the event effects and then you want to go to z disk right here and change this number to about like 0.07 zero now you guys can see there's no more that reflection let's play this video again so this looks way better anyways so if you want to save the settings click on the video effects again and you want to save this to i don't know whatever save it again save it and then you should be good to go all right so let's play the video that is it for today's video hope you guys liked it. if you did leave a like subscribe comment below do all the other stuff blah blah and please join my discord if you need any sort of help we have about 1300 people so yeah later 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 <laughs>